Hey coaches, James Hoffman, wide receivers coach, offensive coordinator here at Simpson College. And today we're gonna to talk about the different types of releases that we do with our wide receivers to set them up for success. All right, now there's a number of different types of re releases that you can teach your guys, but these are the five main types that we teach our guys here at Simpson. Start off with every day we do our stance and start drills, okay? And we'll do a variety of different drills to teach these type of releases. But our first and foremost drill is just your normal get off. This is a straight ahead, drive phase, our shave release, stutter release, seam release, and burst release. Like I said, our normal get off release is a straight ahead where we're trying to gain more depth than we are width within our first initial steps. We teach this with our guys that this is the easiest or best path to avoid collision to the defender, and we'll use this more in our quick game, RPO game, and in our slot position. And like I said earlier, the drills that we use to teach this is in our stance and starts drills. The next type of release we have is called a shave release. This is a stemmed release that we are taking at the shoulder of the defender. It could be the inside shoulder, it could be the outside shoulder. Which direction we use is dictated on the coverage and the technique of that defender. And we'll use this with our vertical and our intermediate routes. The drills that we use, the main drill that I use is a stem cone release. So what we'll do is we'll teach those guys the techniques that we'll see that week versus our opponent and then we'll simulate that drill with cones in practice. Here's a clip of it in a game situation. Here our receiver on the bottom of the screen is going to run a shave release. Excuse me. It's going to run a shave release versus this corner. Notice how the corner is in a drop and drag technique. So what we've taught our guys, when they see that technique, we're going to actually attack the outside shoulder to help set up spacing for our post. Here he attacks him, sticks, his outside foot and brings it back to the post to create separation. Here it is again, this time we're running a fade. This time notice the defender is more of a head up alignment and then more of a straight back pedal. Here we teach our guy on the fade to now attack the inside shoulder to get the defender to move inside. Stick that inside foot, release back outside to create that separation as you see here. We can also use this release in the slot position. So notice the slot up the top of the screen. We're facing a, a tight quarters or cover zero type of technique. Here he's going to attack the outside shoulder of the defender, get him to widen, and then stick and come back to the middle of the field for the bender. So that does a great job of getting off the release, moving the defender off his landmark, and be able to create route separation. The next release is a stutter release. It's a three to four step foot fire stick release. It's good versus press man or a collision defender in the slot. We want to emphasize that that last step is a nice stick step, okay? What we want to do is get the defender to shoot his hands and his hips so that we can use our press combat techniques with a rip or a swat to get his hands off and again create some separation. Drills that we'll use are some of our lateral quickness drills. We'll do ladders and some foot fire cone drills. A lot of these things guys are doing in the off season anyway, but we will continue them throughout the season to continue to improve our lateral quickness. We'll use that in combination with our press release techniques with the rip, swat, low arm and high, high bar uh, techniques. Here's a great example of the stutter release. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, our receiver is using his quick three, four step foot fire. Emphasizes the stick, gets the defender to open up in the opposite direction that he wants to use him to go to. And then it gets back vertical. That is a key component of this release is once he beats his defender is to get back vertical. Creates that separation, hits the home run on the post. The next release is a seam release. This is a quick outside release with a wide angle. We're trying to gain more width than depth on our first three steps in this type of release. We'll use this release against a corner that's got heavy inside leverage and that we want to get him to flip his hips immediately. Again, drills that we'll use, we'll use this every day in our stance and start drills and then we actually teach this as a cover two type of release as well. Here's an example at the bottom of the screen. 
Our receiver pushes off his inside foot, and he's gaining more width than depth on his first three steps. Uses a good high arm bar technique here to swat the defender's inside arm. Stacks him back up on the landmark, again, for a, a nice completion. We can also use this technique to use the, the defender's technique against himself. So here we're running a hitch at the top of the screen. Receiver, same receiver, run the same technique. He's running that outside release, gets the defender to flip his hips, and now at the top of his route, he'll throw him by if he's in close relationship, but he sticks that foot back and comes back to hitch for an easy completion. Our last release that we teach is called a burst release. This is a mandatory inside release of two to four steps to avoid collision and create space. We we'll use this for ourselves mainly when we run our shallows. We'll also use this release when we're going in to block a alley player to help cut him off. Here you'll see the number two receiver at the bottom of the screen using a great technique for his burst release. How we teach this is we're gonna pivot that inside foot and bring that back foot across and cross over. All right, we are trying to again, get more width than we are depth on this type of release. Here this thought receiver goes flat down the line on a shallow, runs with speed, again, an easy completion that ends up turning into a big play. So, like I said earlier, those are the five type of releases that we use here at Simpson College. There's my contact information. If anybody has any questions to learn any more about the drills and stuff and techniques that we use here at Simpson, please feel free to email me or call me on my cell phone. Thanks, coaches.